the general rule of factoring, you want your first term inside the parentheses to be positive. I've got a negative 2x plus 10. What could I factor out of this expression to make my first term in parentheses positive? Okay. By factoring out a what? What's the greatest common factor here? What kind of 2? Nope, what kind of 2? A negative 2. If I factor out a negative 2, which means I'm going to divide both of these bad boys by a negative 2, negative 2x two divided by negative 2 is what? Positive x. So I, I uh, managed to make my first term in parentheses positive. What is positive 10 divided by negative 2? Now, if I use distributive property here, would I end up with what I started? Negative 2 times positive x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10. Yes. Now, that is one way to factor. What if I would have factored out a positive 2? For 10, I change this and I factor out a positive 2. So now I'm dividing by positive 2. What will I have left in parentheses, Justin? Oh. Aren't these two things the same? Because if I use distributive property on both of these, I would end up with what I started with. But I'll tell you, in the real algebra world, this top one is what we call completely completely factored. That is completely factored. Because you want your first term in parentheses to be positive. But I'm telling you right now, at this point, right now, today, I would accept either one of these from you guys in the world of seventh grade algebra one first trimester. Later on this year, I'll want the negative factor back. All right, take a look at this bad boy. What can I factor out? What can I factor out? Yeah. All right. <coughs> We are talking today about probability. I do think today's lesson should be somewhat familiar to you guys from earlier grades. But I also think that it's going to take it to a different level. Okay. Probability. You guys have this in your yellow note packet. The probability of an event or probability of the event, that's how you write it, tells you how likely it is that something will occur. Okay? Now, here's probability. They are somewhere between 0 and 1. Probabilities are only between 0 and 1. If, it, if the probability of an event is 0, that means it's impossible. An example of that would be rolling a 7 on a dice. There are no 7s on a dice. It's impossible to get a 7. If it is, the probability is 1, that means 100%, because isn't 1 100%? So, that is certain. Uh, an example of that would be rolling a number less than 7 on a number cube. Well, that's a no-brainer. All the numbers on a number cube, 6 out of 6, are less than 7. So that's 100% or 1. And if it's right in the middle, it's called equally likely. That would be getting a head on a coin because it's one out of two. That's equally likely of getting a tail, one out of two. You got a 50-50 chance, one half. Now, an outcome is the result of a single trial. So on a coin, the outcomes are heads or tails. On a dice, outcomes are one, two, three, four, five, or six. Sample states are all possible outcomes. Now, if I'm talking about one thing like a dice, the outcomes are the same as the sample state. But if I'm talking about rolling a dice and flipping a coin, okay, 
the sample state there would be I could get a one with head, I could get a two with head, I could get a three with head, a four with head, a five with head, a six with head, or I could get a one with tail, up to six with tail. That's my sample state if I'm rolling the dice and I'm flipping a coin. So I would have 12 possible outcomes because I'd list them all based on whatever experiment we're doing. An event is any outcome or group of outcomes. So our event there would be rolling the dice and flipping the coin. Now, this I think is new to you, and this is not on your notes. You want to add this. The complement of an event, that should be an event, consists of all outcomes that are not in the event. And the sum of the probabilities of the event and its complement is always one. I'm going to pause this. So, in making this clear, if I said the probability of getting a three on a dice, what is the probability of getting a three when I roll a dice? How many threes are on a the dice? There are one, there is one three out of six possibilities. So that is the probability of getting a three. What is the probability of the complement of that? Well, what does the complement mean? It means of not getting a three. How many numbers on a dice are not three? Cole? Five out of six of them. Everything but the three. So one, two, four, five, six. If I take these two probabilities, this is the probability of getting a three. This is its complement, that means not getting a three. And I add those two together. Will I get six out of six or one? Because that's what they need. The complement is everything but that event. Well, if you add those together, you, you have everything covered. You have the event and everything else, so it's one out of one. All right. Theoretical versus experimental probability. You do them the same way, except experimental is based on results of somebody else's experiment. Based on results. I like to say that makes it clear. Based on Result. Somebody did something. I might sit, sit up here and roll a dice a hundred times and record my data. And then I look at it and you say, oh, I look at the table, that's the probability of getting a two. Theoretical probability is based on outcome. So, I'm going to make a table. I'm going to pause this. Okay. The best way I can explain the difference between theoretical probability and experimental. Pretend that I rolled a dice 20 times and I record the result. I got a 1, 3 times, a 2, 2 times, etc. Et then I said to you, what is the theoretical probability of getting a 2 on a dice. Tell me what the theoretical probability of getting a 2 on the dice is. It has nothing to do with this table. You're thinking about an actual dice. What is it? 1 out of 6. Because there's 1, 2 out of 6 outcomes. But, if I said to you, based on my table, what is the experimental probability of getting a two on the dice. Take a look over here. Two out of twenty, which reduces 